Hello everyone. My name is Arge Mishra and I am from Shri Vaishnav Vidyapeet Vishwavidyalaya Indore Department Forensic Science BSc 5th semester. Today I am going to explain you my topic development of hard disk. So basically what is a hard disk? A hard disk is a non volatile storage device which we use to store any information. So friends have you noticed I have used a term non volatile. Why is it called non volatile? Okay let me tell you. It is called non volatile device because whatever information do we store in the computer they get stored in the hard disk drive as it is a main storage unit and the data never get erased from it even though when the computer gets turned off. The location of the hard disk drive is internally in the motherboard of the computer. So now let's discuss the history of the hard disk drive. So the 60th anniversary of the hard disk drive was marked in the year 2016 where new computers they increasingly turn into solid state disk whereas the hard disk drive which was developed they were of low cost but they were having high data storing capacity. So now let's discuss history in the form of a timeline. In the year 1890 a method for machines to record and store information into punch cards was developed by Herman Holrith and it was used by US sensors. Then he later formed a company which we know it as IBM that is International Business Machine. Then in the year 1946 a patent for CRT that is cathode ray tube storing device was applied by Freddie William. This device later known as Williams tube as he has developed this tube. The speciality of this tube was that it was having data storing capacity of 512 to 1024 bit of information. Then in the same year 1946 a tube which was capable to, to store only 256 bit of data or information that is known as selectron tube they started developing in this year. Then in the year 1950 the magnetic drum machines or we can call drum memory it was used before the hard disk drive developed. This device was developed by engine it was developed by engineering research associates of Minneapolis and it was used by US Navy era 110 and it was used in early 50s. Then in, in the year 1956 IBM 305 Ramac that is random access method of accounting and control it was the first computer that was having hard disk drive it was developed on the year 1956 September 13. The speciality of this hard disk drive was that it was having 24 to 50 inches of platter and they were size was of around 2 refrigerator and it weighed around 1 ton. But it could store only 5 megabyte of information and each megabyte costed around $10,000. So in the year 1959 chunking grinder they started working on hard disk drives then they later on they moved to Wald Lake Michigan in the year 1961 and they became Byron Bryant computer products. Then in the year 1961 IBM 1301 disk storage unit was introduced by IBM on June 2nd 1961 which was capable of storing 28 million characters. Then after one year that is in the year 1962 IBM 1311 disk storage drive was introduced by IBM on October 11 which was capable of storing only 2 million characters. Then in the year 1973 3340 Winchester hard disk drive was shipped by IBM which was having two spindles and capacity of 30 MB. This drive was the first drive which was utilizing Winchester technology. Then in the year 1980 ST506 hard disk drive was introduced in the e by Seagate in the year 1980 and it was first developed for the microcomputers. Then in the same year the first gigabyte hard disk drive was introduced by IBM and it weighed around 550 LBS which was price around $44,000. Then in the year 18, 
1986 the original scsi scsi1 was developed then in year 1990 scsi2 was approved then in the year 1991 the sandisk which was formed previously known as sandisk they developed a first non flash ssd which was having capacity of 20 mb then in the year 1995 M system developed the as the first flash based non volatile ssd then in the year 1996 scsi3 was approved then after 2 years that is in the year 1998 the first ssd with pata interface was released by sandisk then in the year 2002 a big deal for purchasing ibm's hard drive operation around 2.05 billion dollars was closed by hitachi on december 31 2002 then in the year 2007 hitachi developed the first 1 terabyte hard disk drive on january 2007 and they released in the month of january then now let's discuss component of hard disk drive there are total 9 components of the hard disk drive that is disk platters read write heads head actuator mechanism spindle motor logic board cables and connectors bezels front plate air filter head arm or head slider so first of all let's discuss about disc platters these are the round circular shape of platters they generally store information in it they comes in varying size that is around 5. 12 inches 3.14 inches 0.85 etc the physical size of the drive is expressed as the size of the platters most of the hard disk drive have two or more platters and they are originally made up of aluminum magnesium alloy which provides both strength and light weight so now let's discuss about read write head a hard disk drive they are usually having the read write head for each platters which means that the each platters are having two sets of read write heads one for the top side and one for the bottom side these heads are connected with the single movement mechanism so head across the platters in unison the hard disk drive uses various types of heads for read write purposes first ferrite head metal in gap head thin film head magneto resistive head and then giant magneto resistive head then we will discuss head actuator mechanism it is the mechanism that moves the head across the disc and position them accurately above the desired cylinder and there are two basic categories are used here stepper motor mechanism voice coil actuator okay then stepper motor actuators they were commonly used on hard disk drive they were made during the 1980s and early 1990s they were having capacity of 100 mb or less than that floppy disk drives position their head by using stepper motor actuator all hard disk drive they begin manufacture today we use them as voice coil actuator so here is the voice coil actuator it is also known as non commutated dc linear actuator it is a type of direct drive linear motor the name voice coil comes from one of its historically first application vibrating the paper cone of the loudspeaker they are currently used for a wide range of application including moving much larger masses there are two main type of voice coil positioner mechanism that is linear voice coil actuator and rotatory voice actuator so now we will discuss this about spindle motors have you have basically seen this structure in the center of the hard disk drive the spindle motor spins the platters connected to the spindle the motor is directly connected to the spindle of the platters they help in moving the spindle platters they are having the revolution speed around 1500 revolution per minute and 3600 revolution per minute the speed of the motor is controlled automatically now 
we will discuss about logic boards. A disk drive will have a board containing the electronics that control the drive's spindle and head actuator system. These are called logic boards. They present data to control in the planned format. They may remove and replace to rectify a logic board problem. Now cable and connectors. Cable and connectors are used to connect HDD that is hard disk drive to the main computer system. All hard disk drive contain, contains connection for data control, interface, connector, power connector. Then now we will discuss the terms related to hard disk drive. First is track, then sector, cylinder, cluster, landing zone, MBR, then zone recording. Now here we will discuss first about track. The hard disk drive is divided into number of concentric circles called tracks. Here you can see the picture I have pasted here. You can see the tracks there in the concentric circular form. Next is sector. Data storage area in one track multiple divided into multiple block is called sector. Now here you can see sectors also. Each sector can have 512 bytes of data. Means each sector is also containing information. Then cylinder. A set of corresponding tracks in all sides of a hard disk drive is called cylinder. Here you can see the spindle platters. They are aligned one over the other. They are in the form of cylindrical form. So we call it as cylinder. Now clusters are the minimum space allocated by DOS when storing any data. Now let's discuss about landing zone. The data free area on the surface of a hard disk drive over which the read write heads come to rest when the computer is shut off and the disk stops rotating. Then MBR which is also known as master boot record. The MBR contains a partition table which stores information on which primary partitions have been created on the hard disk so that it can use information to start the machine. Now let's discuss about zone recording. It is a method of increasing available hard drive space by increasing the amount of sector per track. Now let's discuss about the working of the hard disk drive. It means how they work. So here we know that tracks are the concentric circles. They are aligned in it and they are also called the wedges present on the each track. They are also called structure, structure uh, sectors and whatever data flow comes in the hard disk drive is controlled by a operating system. It decides how the components have to move within the drive to perform a specific operation and they relies on the disk controller to implement by controlling of the hardware. Initially, the operating system based on it analyzes over the hard drive's file allocation table. It communicates with the disk controller. The read or write head present in the arm has to move on to different sectors to check for the required files of the areas available for storage. So here the main function of read and write mechanism is that when the disk rotates, the each sector is having different information. So they read the information contained in it. And, and this movement of the arm is taken care by the disk controller based on the instructions the operating system provides. All of the information is then stored or written magnetically. So the any kind of information which is written, it is stored magnetically in the hard disk drive. For instance, if computer plans to read information present in the hard drive, it considers the magnetic polarities on the platters. These magnetic polar polarities are interpreted as 1, S and zeros and read by the computers. So now let's discuss about the function of the hard disk drive. As here we know that the hard disk drive is the main storage media for the computers and they not only store the information but they can store the any installed software or any operating system. Here we can it is having maximum data storing capacity even though it is of the low cost. Usually 500 GB hard disk drive are the common in modern computers as instances a song of length 4 minute is approx 4 MB in size and in 1 gigabyte there are 1000 megabytes it means that a 500 GB hard disk drive can store approx 
टू लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सॉन्ग्स सो नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ द हार्ड डिस्क ड्राइव द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ द हार्ड डिस्क ड्राइव आर गिवेन एज फॉलोज वन ऑफ द सिग्निफिकेंट एडवांटेज ऑफ अ हार्ड डिस्क ड्राइव इज दैट इट इज ऑफ लो कॉस्ट एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू अर्लियर इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द हार्ड डिस्क ड्राइव दैट द न्यू कंप्यूटर्स दे वर टर्निंग इन टू सॉलिड स्टेट डिस्क एज अ मेन स्टोरेज ई मीडिया बट दे वर ऑफ हाई कॉस्ट बट द हार्ड डिस्क ड्राइव विच वॉज हैविंग लो कॉस्ट एंड बट हाई डेटा स्टोरिंग कैपेसिटी अनदर एडवांटेजेस ऑफ हार्ड डिस्क इज दैट इट इज रेडिली अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट देन हार्ड डिस्क ड्राइव इज फास्टर दैन द ऑप्टिकल डिस्क द कैपेसिटी ऑफ द स्टोरिंग द डेटा इन हार्ड डिस्क ड्राइव इज वेरी हाई नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ द हार्ड डिस्क ड्राइव सो देर आर मेनी देर आर ओनली फोर लिमिटेशन सम ऑफ देम आर लिस्टेड इयर द स्पीड ऑफ द रीडिंग एंड राइटिंग इन हार्ड डिस्क ड्राइव इज लोअर दैन एस एस डी दैट इज सॉलिड स्टेट डिस्क and hard disk drives are noisy another disadvantage is that it the it is energy inefficiency then hard disk drive they consume more power so these are some few disadvantages of hard hard disk drive see here are the references from where i have prepared my content so this was all about my topic thank you and have a nice day